Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Profotic Solutions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning about this plugin development tutorial from scratch and this is 36th of this video session series in which we will discuss about that how can we save author data to database table as well as we will list about the data of authors okay so guys if you are a beginner to this channel then please don't forget to subscribe and watch our previous video sessions where we had discussed several things in wordpress plugin development tutorial so far we have made the menu sections of our my book plugin okay these all sub menus guys we have developed in our previous video session as well as in the database if we will see then these three tables like wp my authors WP my enroll and WP my students these three tables are also developed in our previous video session okay so in this video session we will save the author data means while creating any author from this form okay right now no any operations will be happen okay so when we fill this form and click on submit then we want to save this data to our database table called WP my authors Okay. this is the table actually the structure if you will see the name abilic at the about okay the structure says about the form structure of add new author page and also we will list all the authors from the this database table to our manage author page okay so when we click on manage author section then in this page list means in this data table we will list all the authors from this database table okay so first we are going to save this data to our form okay so just open your code editor and this is the plugin main file where actually we have coded the several things about of this plugin okay so now just open your file called author add okay so this is the page actually we are going to save this data from and now finally let's copy this id of this form frm add author just copy this id open your javascript file go to assets js and script.js okay and now let's add some validation part first jquery here is the your form dot validate method okay basically we are using the validate method due to the presence of if if you have remembered then the presence of validation dot mean dot js library file and this is the library file by the help of this library file actually guys we are using validate method okay and now the next thing that we need to do is submit handler okay so function okay so if we go and write console dot log and just copy this and let paste it as dot serialize okay it will serialize all the data actually we will save from this author add page okay and now if we will check that this is the required field this is required too and this is also required okay about section is not mandatory okay so if we will go to our front end section of administrator panel let's refresh this page okay let's click on submit without means entering any value into these text boxes just click on submit and now here are the validation messages let's quickly change the color of this messages so just open up your author ad page let's copy this id just making copy of that id let's open our style sheet file so go to assets css folder and let's say what is style.css okay so just separate with comma let's here it is your id of the form and label with error class okay and now if we save this file go to browser and click on submit and here are the messages with red color okay now we will save these data to our database table okay so just go to script file and one more thing guys if we inspect this element okay and now let's say some values to these boxes like name equal to raman have we link something called facebook.com slash raman let's say https and let's say hi 
only the message that we have written okay and let's go to console tab and let's press enter just remove all this just press on submit so these are the data guys actually we are getting from our serialized method okay so if we remember that we have actually discussed about the serialized method in our previous video session okay so if you are a beginner then please watch those videos first so let's go to our editor and just get rid of all these okay and remove this all console section okay just remove that just scroll down and let's copy the code from here something called frm add book just copy all these contents okay just i'm making copy of that and now go to your top section and just paste it here okay and now action is my book library obviously because by getting action my book library we are actually adding this code to our wp ajax where actually we have added code for that and here it is okay my book library refers to the action okay and this is the action that we have provided by getting this action from this javascript request the wordpress actually attach this function with this action hook okay and this function actually handles all our ajax request if you remember so just write my book library and here is save instead of book let's say author okay save author and here is our frm add author which basically data gives into the serialized format so just replace your frm add book to frm add author okay and finally save this file go to your app wp my books page and let's copy the code of save book as well okay so just copy this code and let's say else if and just say paste it here okay so this is the code that we have written for save book so instead of save book let's say save author okay and now if just replace this else okay so else if request param equal to save author okay so just save this file and now let's remove this closing bracket okay because we have closed this bracket right here okay so just save this file and instead of my book table the table name that we have to change is say something called wp my authors table okay so my authors table function indicates that table so just copy the name of that table and replace with this table name okay so successfully we have integrated our my authors table okay and let's say the fields are the fields if we remember that it is name every link and the about okay so name should come from name it should be every link so let's say fb link and about so just get rid of book image and let's say it's auto created successfully okay so just save this file go to your browser and refresh this page okay so let's say about its author so let's say wiki sing okay api url should be something called https facebook online web tutor instead of that let's say it's it's wiki sing okay and finally let's say that the author which basically provides basically okay provides the books for laravel okay and just i'm clicking on submit button and here author created successfully okay so if we go to the author section let me browse first and here are the details okay so app link actually empty values so let me check that why it is empty okay so right now that if we check to the author ad page then here is app link okay so if you go to its name section app link and this is the actually name and let me check the ajax request and it should be app link okay so we did a mistake here so just change it to app link okay 
so successfully when we refresh this once more let's say once more let's say Rahul Singh okay so let's say HTTPS and here is Rahul let's say the author provides the skills for WordPress okay so just simply more submit button author created successfully let me refresh that and here are the details okay so successfully guys we have saved our author details from this form to our WordPress table called WP my authors okay so now the next thing that we need to do is that all the details actually we are getting from this table to to our author list and the author list should be in manage author section okay so we have to show all the details from our database table to this table okay so just go to editor let's close all the tabs first okay so to close that let me close all and now let me open manage author page okay so this is the manage author page actually we are currently showing the data with no dynamic data okay right now we have made a simply table data table for that okay so let's say that we want all the details of our author okay so let's say wptb get results is the wordpress function okay and finally let's say for wptb and the prepare method to inject or to prevent our sql queries from unwanted request and let's say select asterisks from from uh, and just get rid of this blank spaces okay. and uh, let's say this is also here okay so we want that select asterisk from just remove this white space here also so select asterisk from dot and this is the function which basically returns the author table okay and also we need to get all the data order by ascending okay so we order by id and should be in descending order okay and because we are using the prepare statement so that we have to pass the second parameter as empty okay so this is how guys we have in written our sql query within wp get wp db get results and within that we have use of prepare method okay and this is our simple query to get the data from database table let me store all the values in say let's get all authors okay and now we will check then just copy this variable name let me say that print r and here is the variable name just paste it here and save your file okay so once we refresh this page so these are the author details that we have created for Rahul Kumar Singh and this is Vicky Singh okay so right now we have only two database rows in our table okay so just we have to iterate over all those rows actually we are getting from this variable okay so just get rid of that go to your authors list and here it is okay so inside this body d body sections actually we have to append our php code and let's say that if count of this is greater than zero means we have rows okay so for each let's say get all authors as key value okay and if you remember about the structure of data we are getting then they are in object format okay so we have to use the arrow operator for that okay so just close this php tag and let's say that td inside of td let's say that first number is serial number okay the first should be the serial number so let's declare a variable called dollar i equal to one okay and now in this td section let's say that php echo and it should be i plus plus okay and inside the next td section let's say that we want the next td section we want the name okay so to get the name from this object variable let's say echo and the value and the name section okay name is the database key 
means table key and let's say that td just copy this php tag and paste within this td okay and here is a building that we want okay and this is the key and the next the thing that we need to do is about okay so he is about and next created at the value and it is created at okay so these are all columns guys from our database table and here are like name a link about and created at okay all these columns actually are coming from this database table okay and finally we need to add a td section with our action okay because in future we want to delete this record as well okay so let's say that button okay and let's say delete okay and let's say the class should be btn btn danger okay so just save this file and let's make some formatting to this data okay and this is what so just save this file after saving this file just go to your administrator panel and refresh this page and here are the details okay Vicky Singh actually the problem is with our row okay so all the TD sections we have developed but and actually we need to make it in TR section as well okay so because we have forget about this adding TR and let's say TT okay so when this TR means row table row we have table data as well okay so just making some formatting to that just save this file and refresh this page so these are our data and also we have to remove actually what we have equal here if we find and let's say that php with this php tag this is actually td okay actually these are in td section as well so just cut from here let's say td okay within this td tag actually we have to paste the data okay so finally we have if we save this file and refresh this page so here are the data as we can see okay we have two records right now rahul kumar singh and the vk singh these are the data actually we have created to our database table okay and here are our delete action button okay so in upcoming videos guys we will handle the about request so when we click on this delete section so how can we delete this record as well we will see in upcoming videos okay so the next thing that we need to do is that we want to populate all these author list to this book list section sorry add new okay so when we add any author when we add any author to our add new author then those data actually we want to populate in this drop down as well okay so because when we create any book then we want to select this author okay so just go to add new page just open up your book add page okay and we want to show all the authors detail to this author section okay so just with this select command let's say that global WPTV or let's say that WPTV and finally we need to use the get results function okay so get results and with this get results let's say WPTV and the prepare method as well okay and with this prepare method let's say that select asterisks from if you remember the author that we have written the same query exactly at the top section okay so just copy this and paste it here okay so basically we actually getting the author's detail okay so just copy this variable go to right here and let's say for each get all author as author okay let me say index as well Okay, index and author so just I'm opening this for each loop with this for each loop let's say that option okay and the option contains the value and the value should be the ID of the author okay so let's say echo and here is author ID okay and now the value section for that let's say within PHP tag let's say echo author and the name okay 
and also just get rid of this content and paste at the top section okay so here are that we need we are getting that option choose author and here the list actually populated dynamically from the database table okay so just save this file go to browser and refresh this page so once click on choose author okay we have some error let me check that and we have error guys actually that WPTB actually we have defined or not okay I think that the WPTB is a global object and we need to define that first okay so global WPDB okay so just save this file and refresh this page and now here are the details as you can see just click on that and here are the authors actually we are getting from this what we have added okay so successfully guys we have seen that how can we actually add authors okay how can we manage authors means how can we populate all the data actually we have saved to our database table to our data table okay and also we have made a delete button in our upcoming videos we will handle about this action okay and also we have listed all the data that we have created into our add new book section okay and here are so successfully guys we have seen and completed our video sections so what we have actually decided we have completed okay and I strongly suggest you guys that if you are a beginner to this channel then please don't forget to subscribe and watch our previous video session to understand the plugin development tutorial concept from scratch okay so if you have any query in this video session guys then please drop your comment I will give you a reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching have a great day